Tom, it is the first time you came to church. Did you enjoy the service? No. But why? I didn't like when the priest frequently referred to God as, Him, or the Father. I think they should remove the word Father, from the Lord's Prayer. But how can you say so? I grew up saying that prayer, with love in my heart. What do you want me to say instead? You can use, gender-neutral pronouns like they, or them. I don't know what to say. It's the first time, I am hearing this. Let's go home now. We'll talk in the car. Okay. Why do you look so unhappy? I think you should get rid of this vehicle. Why? Because, it is not good for the environment. I think, you should buy two bicycles, one for each of us. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to ride. Wait a minute. Pull the car over to the left. Why? I want to go to the washroom. Okay. Why is he going to the girls' washroom? I am going to ask him about this when he gets back. I noticed you went into the girls' washroom. What is the reason for that? I am gender fluid. I am flexible. Grandparent, do you know there are more than two sexes? I grew up learning in my biology class that there are only two sexes. Grandparent, times have changed. I could be whatever I want. Why are you calling me grandparent? Because, it is the politically correct thing to say. Do you want me to call you senior, or elderly, or do you want me, to call you older adult? Who is teaching you all these new things? I learned, some of it in school, and some of it from my friends. I don't know, why, I am listening to you. You, should listen to me because, I, am less privileged than you. What do you mean? You are a wealthy person. I am young and unemployed. I want you to remember this. I am not privileged. The things I own, I earned it through hard work. I don't think we should continue this conversation. It is making me nervous. I am turning now. We've finally reached home. Before we go inside the house, I want you to promise me one thing. What is that? Do not talk to me about being overweight. You are fat, shaming me. I'm sorry. It is because I am so concerned about your health. I promise I won't do that again. What do you think about the things I said? Well, it seems like people are becoming too sensitive these days. Even though I disagree with the things you are saying, I still want to remain close to you. You are my only grandchild, and I love you. Thanks for saying that. Hi. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of my videos on a wide range of topics, please hit the subscribe button and click on the link in the description.